Welcome to part three of the Lotus Elise Buyer's Guide. In this video, I wanted to talk about some sort of common issues with Lotus Elise vehicles sold here in the U.S. during 2005 and 2011. These are things you kind of want to look out for when you're shopping for a Lotus. These are sort of the common issues that you would learn about pretty quickly once you hopped onto a Lotus forum or something like that. Uh, these are just the kind of things that everyone has had to deal with in some way or another at some point. Uh, and if they haven't yet, they probably will at some point. So one issue that people don't really talk about all that much, even though it happens to a lot of our cars, um, is the sticky airbag cover on the steering wheel here. So the material that was used to make the airbag cover seems to react with certain cleaners and it's really common to find in a lease where someone has used just the wrong cleaner on the airbag cover and as a result it starts sort of disintegrating and melting a little bit. There's really nothing you can do to fix it. There are a few people online that have come up with sort of DIY fixes that involve sanding it down and then spraying it with Plasti Dip. This is probably the only thing you can really do just to get it a little bit better, but it doesn't solve the problem. The only way to fix it properly is to buy a new airbag assembly. You can't just buy the cover, you have to buy the entire airbag. And those are five or six hundred dollars new and not terribly easy to get. So it's one of those things where if you have it, you kind of just live with it unless it really, really bothers you. And then you can spend a lot of money to fix something that, you know, is really just cosmetic. But if you're the kind of person that, that something like that might be really bothersome, it's a good idea to keep an eye out when you're shopping and make sure the airbag cover is perfect before you buy it. A second issue that's common with, I think, all of the Elise models, and I'm not sure about the Exige, uh, is the radiator. Um, there's sort of two kinds of Lotus Elise. There are those that have had their radiator replaced and those that will have their radiators replaced. The trouble is that the OEM radiator has some plastic fittings that over time with heating and cooling over and over and over again uh, crack and will eventually leak. And so almost any Elise that you buy at this point that has actually been driven um, will have had the radiator replaced because they fail on just about all of them. If you are buying an Elise that has the OEM radiator, this might be a point on which you can negotiate a, uh, a better price on the car because it, it will have to be replaced. Most people take that opportunity to upgrade to a, a better unit that is entirely aluminum and doesn't have any of the plastic fittings. That's what mine has, but it had it when I bought the car. Keep in mind too that these cars, you know, at the youngest are still about 10 years old at least, and so it's not totally out of the question that they would need new radiators anyhow. Another issue that you'll definitely want to look out for is for the 2007 models and maybe the 2008s, but definitely 2007. There was an oil line recall on the 07s, and essentially there are fittings in the rear of the car that over time work themselves loose. And if that happens while you're driving the car, oil goes everywhere, so it becomes a hazard for sliding. It also starves the engine and the engine can go boom. And that also happened to this car. The owner who had it did not take the car in for the recall. And not too long after, the engine went boom. So when I bought this car, the engine had actually been completely replaced. And so even though it had 45,000 miles on the clock, the engine only had about 20,000 miles on it. So I got a new engine out of the deal, but the total cost for replacing the engine, he had all of the invoices and everything like that, was about $9,000. And that is probably not something that you want to pay if you can avoid it. Another thing you want to look out for are the front turn signal indicators. The indicator lamps on the front clam are sort of secured with these clips inside and they have a tendency to fail. And when they fail, it's rather interesting because when mine failed, for example, uh, I was on the highway and the indicator released itself from the clam, but it's still connected to the loom. 
and so it sort of became like a kite and I'm driving around 60 miles an hour and the indicator is just sort of flying along with me uh, and bouncing around and thankfully I had star shield on the uh, on my front bumper so it didn't tear up the paint too much uh, but it's a pretty common issue that a lot of people have dealt with and there are some fixes for this issue uh, that will retain the turning indicator lamp better than the factory solution did so that's just something you might want to ask about if you are seriously considering an Elise. And one more thing when you are shopping for an Elise, in the boot of the car next to the battery, there is sort of this slot in the battery cover that contains a couple of things. It should have the owner's manual and it will also have a little pouch that has a few different Allen wrenches and most importantly, the lug nut adapter so that you can remove the wheels on the car. It's pretty rare that you would find an Elise that doesn't at least have that included with it, but it could happen and, and it's something that you absolutely need if you own an Elise. So essentially, the lug nuts on the Elise are non-standard and so Lotus provides a long metal adapter that fits over a normal drive and allows you to remove the lug nuts. So if you don't have the adapter, you can't get the wheels off. Anyhow, those are sort of the, uh, the greatest hits issues, if you will. So when you're shopping for an Elise, you want to make sure that you cover all of those. So make sure to ask those questions, and this will make you a more informed Lotus buyer. It's a, it's a special car for a special kind of, kind of guy, a special kind of gal. And there aren't a lot of people around to sort of give you tips on uh, what it's really like to buy one of these things. So that's what I'm hoping to do with this channel. Anyhow, thank you all for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Belotus.